Hello, everybody, and welcome back to yet another cast. Guys, this time we will be casting a game of Pro TA, or also sometimes called TA Venom, because the creator is named Venom, tag Venom. And uh, this is a little different from the uh, Escalation that I've been casting, guys. Uh, I don't typically cast Pro TA as much. But uh, I've been getting a lot of requests on my channel to cast this mod. Guys, this mod is a little bit different than, than Escalation. Um, because there is basically only two tech tiers where Escalation uh, goes up to T4. This mod only goes up to T2. However, uh, it is supposed to be much more fast-paced, uh, more diverse, Um I talked to Venom about it. You know, he he wants the mod to be much faster paced uh, than Escalation, and uh, some of the people in my uh, in my comments section were saying that uh, this mod is actually more interesting to watch. Uh, so I want to cast some games of of Pro TA just to show you guys what it's like and kind of get your opinions on on which one's more fun to to watch. Uh, let me introduce the players real quick. We have uh, Mr. Tag Rock. He has been around for forever, ever. Uh, Rock has just been around since the beginning of the uh, of the OTA competitive scene. He is one of the all-time greats for sure. And uh, here we have Tip Tushi, who uh, from this point on I will just call Tip here in red. Now both players... Um, starting as arm and uh, I certainly like these colors red and orange very spirited kind of uh, kind of colors to to play as but um, having said that uh, both players have started kbots and uh, no doubt they're just trying to get that get the eco uh, going on and then they will reclaim their labs as soon as they get a few uh, cons out onto the field they will start, you might not be able to see it, but uh, Red is already reclaiming his lab here. And I assume uh, Rock doing the same thing. Yeah, so he just reclaimed his lab. And guys, the reason for this, you, you might be like, what the heck is going on? Why would they reclaim their labs? Guys, the only reason they even built those in the first place was just to get some cons out on the field. And then they're going to go straight into the sea. This map is called John's Pond. Uh, and as you can see, there are mountainous passes or mountainous terrain preventing the players from directly accessing the other side of the map with land units. So uh, you have to fight for the sea. The sea is the only way to get your units across. Of course, you could go hovercraft as well. Um, I'm not sure how good hovercraft are in uh in VMOD or Pro TA, I've never actually seen hovercraft being used. Uh, I know in OTA, hovercraft were kind of garbage, just weren't really worth using most of the time. Um, so I'm sure they've been buffed, but um, if, it, if it's anything like Escalation, uh, naval, you know, ships are still king of the sea, and both players certainly going to uh, try to take advantage of, of that uh, naval supremacy here. The water on this map is huge. Um, air is also probably going to play a big role just because uh, air in Pro TA is very powerful. Because again, the whole thing about Pro TA is it's trying to be as close to OTA as possible, but but more balanced, right? Like OTA was fun, obviously, but it wasn't very balanced at all. Um, and Protea wants to keep the same spirit of the game while being, um, you know, more balanced. So they try to keep it as close to the original as possible. Uh, which is, you know, certainly, I think, uh, a laudable kind of, kind of goal. But uh, already we have some... Rock has a few uh, scouts here trying to get this K-Bot... And I don't think they will be successful. So, guys, one thing is, uh, if you if you are at all familiar uh, with OTA, uh, these Skeeter battles were very common early on. So, lots of uh, scouts. 
in the early game on these water type maps just because the scouts were very uh, very versatile uh, very strong unit I mean just kind of does everything um, they have a laser for close combat but they also have missiles so they're, they're good anti-air units uh, but they also fight really well on the sea now it's really interesting in other mods uh, like in bar and BA um, in escalation the the scouts have been toned down quite a bit like they don't get the missiles they just have the short range laser and then there's kind of like a de dedicated anti-air ship but uh in protea they don't add any units so the the scout still has the mul the 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 uh, multi-role of being both um kind of early game naval dominance and anti-air so it's still how it was in OTA, which was an extremely strong unit. Like one of the strongest um, units early on for sure. Certainly in the sea. I mean, these in the sea early on are just dominating. Now, the one, I will say the one weakness of the scout is the lurker. Uh, the scout obviously has no anti-sub capability at all. And so lurkers just kind of dominate these since they can't attack uh, the, the underwater. But yeah, this is kind of what we expect early on. Just uh, some Skeeter battles. Lots of, uh, lots of scouts skirmishing. And in the meantime, both players just uh, sort of taking over their uh, respective islands. Yeah, you, you really do have to keep up the Skeeter production early on. If, if one player gets like a, like a huge advantage in this, um, in the, in the Skeeter production, uh, it can, they can just take over the sea completely. And then, you know, once you get kicked out of the sea, it's, it's hard to get back in there. Um, that's just kind of the way the game plays. So both players just, they're just keeping up their, their Skeeter production trying to vie for for control of the uh, of the Mediterranean here and uh, you know neither player really has a huge advantage at this point uh, economically it looks like uh, both players almost dead even um, but guys, I do expect things to uh, start heating up here pretty soon because, uh, as I said before, air in and pro TA is it's is extremely powerful. Just because it was really powerful in OTA, and they've tried to keep that same spirit. Uh, now we do see the first Crusader on the field, should I say, uh, on the water. And uh, Crusaders will contribute a lot to these battles. The uh, depth charges and long range cannons, very strong. The, uh, the cannons can actually hit multiple targets. It's like an AOE explosion. So these, these heavily packed Skeeters can definitely get uh, pretty trashed. And, and the destroyers have a lot of health too. Nice uh, nano blocking by red here. Throwing up some, some shark's teeth to block a lot of those missiles. Very very next level play. And uh, overall that, that single, you see that single crusader ma making such a difference in, the, in that battle. Um, it doesn't have any kills, but I think it was ju just the presence of it. Those, uh, those cannons, the depth charges, the amount of health it has. Really, just just one uh, contributing so much. Absolute menace here. And uh, the the thing about the Crusaders is they can get swarmed, but but Tip doing a really good job of of uh, creating a Skeeter line in front of it so that Rock can't really surround it the way he wants to with those Skeeters. So th this Crusader really just. Uh, Staying in the back line, putting out the damage. Uh, let's see what Rock is... Okay, this is interesting. Rock 
opting to uh, go straight for advanced kbot lab so he's he's not going air he's not going uh advanced naval that is an interesting choice to just go straight for the uh straight for advanced kbot lab and no doubt pelicans and uh tip's got to be careful he's building a geo here but now it's a little bit exposed but uh now he's going to try to cut rock off he still has the only destroyer in this game uh, rock is building a destroyer but he is finally going to get it out but he's been competing uh, for those resources with his advanced kbot lab which is pretty expensive at this point in the game uh, but yeah tip has already gotten an advanced kbot lab so yeah but both players have decided to go for that I guess it makes sense Nice, nice battle in the sea. Both players have a crusader now. And uh, the armies are very evenly matched here. Super close engagement. And again, Tip using the nano blocking to uh, try to give himself an edge. But the tag with, uh, excuse me, Rock with a second Crusader now on the field and targeting that construction ship that will go down. But yeah, both players going uh, straight into advanced K bots. And again, like I said, that makes sense. Probably because they're going to go for uh, for those T2 uh, metal, the Moho metal extractors uh, to give themselves an economic boost, most likely. Building some Farks, the uh, the fast assist repair K-Bot. I, I think that's what it is, repair. Fast assist repair K-Bot. To uh, boost their... their uh, uh, production speed and then going straight into pelicans but it's it kind of surprises me that both players did that maybe that's just the meta uh, but I, I kind of thought one of the players might have uh, gone for advanced naval instead they could have upgraded their underwater uh, uh, metal extractors but uh, that's probably not the meta I don't know the pro TA meta guy so I, I don't I could just be totally wrong. It, it could just be that advanced Kbot lab is is just meta, and pelicans are certainly meta and always have been meta <laughs> on this kind of map. So yeah, pelicans very strong, and and in fact, uh, th th this group of pelicans probably going to give red the advantage now in this this endless naval warfare even putting a lot of pressure on the Crusader. Yeah, this Crusader, not long for this world. Uh, but yeah, now Rock with some, some Pelicans of his own. And he's still got a couple you know a couple uh destroyers on the field but yeah guys as of right now both players uh really just duking it out in the water with very similar compositions uh, pelicans skeeters and crusaders that is about it that is what that is what we're seeing right now And I'm surprised um, we haven't seen any lurkers. Of course, crusaders can uh, they can attack lurkers, and uh, lurkers can't really hit pelicans. I mean, they can if they're if they're focus fired, but they can't 
naturally hit pelicans. You have to manually target them. So yeah, but I'm surprised just in this in in these engagements we haven't seen a single lurker. And also I'm surprised that neither player has gone air. A very, very light air defense on both sides. Uh, there are actually, there's a lot of defenders here, but there's only a few there. Nice bombing run could, could take that out for sure. There's almost no air defense here. Uh, on red side, very little air defense as well. But uh, both players focusing completely on uh, the, the naval battle. They don't want to lose the sea, and I I don't blame them. Losing the sea on this map would be pretty devastating. So I think both players investing all of their resources on this on this endeavor, but uh, Tip may be getting the upper hand these pelicans frustrating uh, for the Crusaders to deal with. And uh, Rock focus firing, trying to get those, uh, trying to hit the pelicans with the depth charges as well. Um, and doing okay, but again, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised to... Uh, to not see any air. Now, of course, the air wouldn't do much in the sea because of the Skeeters and the Pelicans. So, so I'm not saying the air would have any impact on the naval battle at all. Like, right, like you would just avoid this um, conflict completely with your bombers. You, you would instead uh, go straight for their eco and their production. That would that would be the advantage of uh that would be the advantage of air on this on this map, but but both players just uh, totally committing to to the sea battle, and, and like I said, I mean that's a uh, it's understandable you you really can't lose this. Um, I'm surprised we haven't seen any torpedo launchers. Even one or two torpedoes could help a lot. Maybe not against the Pelicans, but certainly against uh, some of the Crusaders and Skeeters. Of course, it looks like Skeeter production is, is mostly done. But guys, this has just been a non-stop battle for the mid. Very action-packed. I mean, uh, Venom wasn't wrong. This, this mod uh, certainly delivers. It's meant to be played like this, where the, where the action just kind of continues, you know. There's, there's very little downtime. So it's been a, it's been a pretty epic fight for the mid. Uh, mostly Crusaders, Skeeters, and Pelicans uh, are the uh, the units that we've seen this game. But now Rock looking to uh, be slowly winning this War of Attrition. Not by much. And I, again, I'm I'm interested to see if either player is doing something sneaky or no. It looks like both players still on the Crusader Pelican game plan. 
But uh, I'm surprised because Tip is losing that. Seems like Tip is slowly losing that battle. Not by much though. It's still pretty close. But now Rock will move forward. And the thing is Rock is... Uh, he's almost full on metal. He's not using his metal quick quickly enough. He's maxed out now so... Um, we might see Rock tech into something. He's finally going air. Yeah, Rock finally going air. At uh, the 20 minute mark. Which is very unusual. Uh, very unusual on this map and for uh, players of this caliber to, uh, to to wait so long to go air. They've just been both so focused on the uh, on the sea. They haven't <laughs> they haven't really bothered. I do want to say though that this is an interesting thing. Red has. Two and a half times the, the energy production somehow. I mean, he does have two geos. What else? Two geos, a lot, obviously, a lot of, of wind generators. And uh, it, it, Rock just hasn't taken his geos. Maybe that's that's the difference. For some reason, Rock hasn't taken his geos. Either way, Red Red has a lot more energy, and uh, Tip also starting to come back in the naval battle. It's still really really close, but uh, now that that Rock is going air, uh, could this give him? Could this give Rock a unique uh, advantage? Um, I mean, Tip building more uh, air defense now, but but guys like. At this part of his base, there's almost nothing. There's not even defenders. No flax. Uh, rock could literally just fly right up here and bomb all that stuff. Uh, Tip finally building his own aircraft plant. A nice, uh, a nice battle for the uh, for the ocean, but but again, yeah, but both players just sort of uh, on the uh, on the Crusader Pelican game plan. Oh, okay. Rock going straight into T2 air, so that's interesting. Um, I, I kind of thought Rock might go for some thunders, but no, he's going straight into advanced aircraft. Which, uh, you know, could be good. He could go into he could go into brawlers, or he could go into uh, phoenixes. Or he could even go into torpedo bombers, I guess. I mean, if Rock is that committed to uh, to winning this naval war, he could go. He could go into torpedo bombers. Um, there's really not that much anti-air on the on the sea here. Now, crucially, Tip bringing his commander into the water, and he's got to be so careful. I mean, Rock. Oh my God, what are you doing, Tip? Oh my god, Rock could kill his commander right now. Does Rock not see this? Uh, 
Oh no, Tip. What are you doing? Oh, it was a... D okay. Guys, that was a decoy commander. That was so <laughs> sick. I, he fooled me, and I'm the caster. So Tip really baiting Rock into a terrible confrontation there. Um, all of Rock's crusaders were out of position, taking out that decoy commander. And uh, as a result, Tip got a big advantage in the sea because uh, it seemed like Rock, for about 10 seconds there, was focusing all his fire on the, on the decoy commander, and then he lost a lot of crusaders. Very well played there. Uh, but now Rock pumping out Phoenix, but he doesn't have the energy. We, we mentioned a little bit before that Rock's energy was, was pretty far behind. And he, he doesn't seem to have the, the energy to keep this. You know, Phoenix are pretty expensive. Like, Phoenix very energy heavy. Uh, Rock is pumping them out pretty quickly now. But but again, uh, in Red's base, there's no air defense here at the top left. There's more air defense um, in the middle. And again, Rock running into some pretty serious energy troubles. Oh lord. Here we go. Here goes Rock's run. Now this isn't this is not the best attack vector. There's a there's a lot of defenders, but he will take out two geos, the advanced Kbot lab, the Moho mine, two Moho mines. So, so Rock really uh, devastating here. Oh my God, he's gonna get the he's gonna get the uh, aircraft plant and probably this advanced Kbot lab. Rock just dealing devastating damage, guys. I kind of predicted this. I said, <laughs> why hasn't either player gone air? They could do so much damage, and uh, it looks like I was totally right about that. Rock really inflicting unbelievable damage with that bombing run. Like he's taken out two Geos, several Moho uh, Mexes, uh, an advanced Kbot la a lab, and a, uh, an aircraft plant. But at the same time, uh, Red now encroaching on Rock's naval base. And can, can Rock hold this off with some nice bombing action? Really nice use of uh, of Phoenix here. Rock, uh, Rock really showing his his uh, air air micro, or, or uh, Rock really revealing his his uh, air control chops. This game, oh my goodness, Tip is just getting absolutely devastated by this Phoenix pressure, and there's just not enough air defense. I, I mean. There's a couple Skeeters, but that's not... That's not going to do it. He needs, um... Uh, whatever the T2 anti-airship, but the thing is, Tip doesn't have T2 naval, so he can't build the Cobras. I can't remember what the... I can't remember what the, uh... The name of the T2 anti-airship is. But either way, he needs them. Because Rock is uh, is just bombing his little heart out. And uh, guys, I, I said that error would make all the difference this game. And I, and I feel very vindicated in that assessment. Because uh, Rock, ever since he went into uh, Bombers, has just been ruling this game. I mean, Tip doing what he can... But uh, Rock's control of the sky 
is uh, devastating. I don't know how else to frame it. It's devastating. Like, Rock feels like he has complete control of this game. Tip has to wrestle Rock's air control away from him. Taking out two mohos. It's going to take out this, this K-Bot lab again. And uh, he will kill those bombers. But at what cost? I mean, he, he keeps losing everything. He keeps losing uh, crucial production facilities. Uh, Eco now way behind on energy. If you just look at, at Tip's um, income, he, he's struggling. Of course, Rock's struggling too. Rock really hurting on, on energy. And to be honest, I'm surprised Rock hasn't gone into a fusion. Um, I think he could probably use it at this point. He's uh, He's got a lot of production and Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that rock hasn't gone into a fusion yet. I Feel like he's he's inflicted enough damage on his opponent that he he might have been able to get one but I mean tips still in the water big time and tip has a lot of, of anti-air now he's got a million Skeeters and a lot of Pelicans and all of those can shoot at air so so even this Phoenix even these Phoenix gonna struggle And uh, yeah, Tip with a nice counterattack here. Really getting his revenge on Rock. Building a, a, a million scouts and pelicans. So it's it's still it's still a close game. It's certainly not over. But uh, ag again, I still feel like Rock has the advantage. Still pumping out those bombers. Um, if he could... Again, come from this angle. There's nothing up here. There's no anti-air at all. I don't see a flak or anything. And I think Rock knows that now. He's starting to... Uh, gather his bo uh, bombers at the southwest. But in the meantime, still fighting to defend his, uh, his naval base. And it is a very, very close battle. But uh, Tip just can't break through. There's just there's so many uh, Crusaders. Rock building just enough to hold this off. And in the meantime, kind of consolidating his bombers. I think in the bottom left, I think he's going to go for a another raid from the uh, from the south. Oh, sorry guys, I missed one. I missed a raid here in the north. Apologize for that. But here we go. Here's the one that's coming from the southwest. And uh, I assume this one's going to be pretty devastating. Oh no, wait. A rock deciding to, to back off there. That's a little surprising. I mean, this this is a great angle to come from. There's only... A f well, there's some defenders here, but... I mean, this is a great line of, of attack. But no, Rock deciding uh, instead to uh, take a different angle. And the battle in the, in the ocean is uh, continuing to rage, of course. So Tip has a lot more air defense now, especially around the middle, than what he did. And Rock 
Moving in for another bombing run. He will take out two mohos. Three mohos. And some wind generators. And here's the problem, guys. Uh, Rock's economy just hasn't really been touched this game. Um... Uh, even though Tip has had some pretty nice naval victories, he has not uh, he has not really once touched uh, Rock's Island, and that's uh, that's a huge problem. That's a, that's a huge problem for him, uh, just simply because uh, Rock hasn't had to keep rebuilding all of his resources over and over. And uh, he's, he's instead been able to just pump out uh, units and uh, upgrade his eco. Another bombing run, this time from the top left. Finally going taking that route. And uh, not as successful probably as he would have hoped, but still... Taking out two mohos. And uh, maybe this aircraft plant. Yeah, he will also get the aircraft plant. For his trouble. But despite the uh, despite the constant uh, aerial harassment. Uh, Tip's still doing a really good job of... of uh, of holding on. Of, of staying in the game. He's doing a good job of just rebuilding his... Base, no matter how many times it gets bombed, you know, to the Stone Age. And uh, Rock doing a good job of continuing to bomb him into the Stone Age. So, uh, it's, it's kind of funny because Tip feels like Tip's constantly just rebuilding. Here we go. He goes for the, uh, for the advanced K-Bot lab, but he won't get it. Yeah, he won't quite get the advanced Kibot lab. Uh, I'm a little surprised that neither player has gone into uh, advanced shipyard. Some conquerors would certainly be pretty devastating in this situation. Some T2 uh, naval options. Um... Cruisers or subs. The Tigers, I, th I think that's what they're called. Sub Hunters. But no, uh, really, we're just on the uh, we're on the Crusader game plan here. From both teams. And uh, Rock using uh, his bombers again. In the uh, in the sea. But uh, unfortunately. Uh, Rock could go into uh, torpedo bombers. I mean, it wouldn't be a terrible option. But, 
but yeah, as of right now, um, Tip's starting to take control of the of the water. I mean, in some ways, he he's been ahead for a while. Oh, nice. This is a nice ambusher. So, Rock utilizing the uh, T2 coastal defense. Very nice placement there. And now bringing some bombers in. There's been an interesting push pull kind of situation where uh, Red focuses heavily on Crusaders. Which allows a uh, rock to uh, bring the bombers in because the Crusaders don't have any anti-air. And then once uh, once rock brings bombers in, then then Tip has to start pumping out Skeeters and Pelicans, which he is now. Which then allows rock to kind of get an advantage in the sea because Crusaders, it's kind of a rock paper scissors type thing. Um, bombers beat Crusaders. Uh. And then um, Skeeters and Pelicans beat Bombers. And then Crusaders beat uh, Skeeters and Pelicans. So there's a nice little rock, paper, scissors type thing happening in the sea. But again, I, I think I'd like to see some... Maybe some torpedo bombers. Maybe not. I mean, they can't hit the pelicans. I'd really like to see T2 naval, but... A rock at this point... Doesn't seem to have the resources. Tip might have the resources. He is finally doing it. Yeah. Tip has heard my prayers and is finally moving to... Uh, advanced shipyard and... That could really change this game. If Tip can get the uh, advanced shipyard up and running. Um, some more decoy commanders. Yeah, if Tip could get the advanced shipyard running, th there's so many options that would help him here. Um, Conqueror to win the naval battles. Um, some rangers to take out the ambushers or just to attack the coastline in general. Uh, the the anti-airships, whatever the heck they're called, with the, with the flax to uh, control the the skies. Uh, Millenniums can win the sea battle and target the uh, target the land. And uh, even the anti-sub, the T2 submarines would be great. I mean, the sky's the limit. There's so many good options from the T2 naval factory. Rock moving in with a nice uh, bombing run again. But there's, there's a lot of air defense now. And, and Rock just kind of barely holding on. And I have to feel that, that once Tip starts producing that T2 naval things might take a turn for the worse for rock because rock doesn't seem to have much of a game plan here uh, I don't know what rock does to uh, break the stalemate I mean rock was doing really well he had some really nice bombing runs and, and it, it felt like he had control of the game but uh, Tip has just held on really well and is now taking full control of the sea especially once he once he gets this 
advanced shipyard uh, producing, things things will likely start to get pretty nasty. Okay. Yeah. Rock's still just on, on uh, T1 shipyards. But uh, Rock is starting to push back with the help of these ambushers. This one has 9 kills. This one has 24 kills. So guys, I underestimated how how effective these ambushers have been. 24 kills on that one, 9 kills on that one. That has certainly given Rock the edge uh, in this naval combat. And it seems like Rock uh, here with a pretty huge squad of Crusaders and now some Hawks as well but again I mean tip is on advanced shipyards I don't know why he's working on this fibber though I'm not sure fibber is just a jamming sub that's all it does so I'm not sure why he's going straight for this instead of going into piranhas or conquerors or uh Uh, Archer is what the anti-airship's called. Yeah. I'm not sure why he's going for f for Fibber. Um, I guess just trying to block his radar signatures. So he can't he can't be targeted on the map. But with the help of these Hawks, uh, Rock is, uh, he's taking control of the sea back. And I really thought that Tip was, uh, I really thought Tip was going to win the sea battle with all this uh, T2. But I, I just underestimated how strong these, these ambushers have been. 27 kills on that one. I think those ambushers were just so crucial in, in the in the sea battle. And now this advanced shipyard in serious trouble. Tip building it too far forward, I think. The bomber's moving through, and yeah, the advanced shipyard's gonna go down. And uh, now Rock has once again taken control of the sea and it's looking pretty bad for uh, for Tip, who has been dominating the the naval for most of the game, but now feels like he's in a lot of trouble. Uh, finally, building lurkers. I'm surprised this is the first time this game that we've seen lurkers. To be honest. Of course, uh, Crusaders are pretty good against Lurkers, so it's not its not exactly a counter. And then Lurkers can't really hit Pelicans. And uh, yeah, Tip, realizing that uh, he's in trouble, will tap out of the game. So guys, I'm, I'm, again, I'm a little surprised at how that ended. Um, what do I say about that game? Um, rock with some great airplay and doing a lot of economic damage but tip doing a great job of holding on and, and maintaining control of the sea but i just felt like those ambushers had such a huge impact in the in the naval battle and uh and then tip went to advanced shipyards and maybe just that transition was too expensive uh either way rock does ultimately win the naval battle even though it looked like tip was going to win once he got to t2 um i think maybe building a jammer right away 
was a mistake. I think maybe if he had gone straight for some conquerors, it could have made a difference. Maybe it wouldn't have. Uh, even an archer, you know, all those hawks were annoying, and just one archer with a flat could have threatened the hawks. It certainly done a lot of AOE damage. But uh, guys, that was a really good game. Um, it could have gone either way, and even until the end, uh, I felt like Tip was in control of, of the sea, but uh, wow, yeah, those ambushers really having a huge impact, and then uh, I think moving to T2 was, was a huge stress on uh, on Tip's economy, and ultimately uh, that will uh, cost him the game, but guys, you can kind of see the difference there between Escalation um, there are a lot more units in Escalation. Um, and you can also see that uh, <laughs> the game stays at like T2. So both players were kind of at the T2 phase for the majority of the game. And were just um, having to use their technology better. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. It was a really interesting uh, sea battle. And... Um, I don't cast Protea too much, but it's, it is really fun. So uh, let me know what you think, guys, and uh, I'll catch you on the next cast.